Hello friends, welcome to my channel Go Digit. Today we will learn how to use fixed assets in Microsoft Dynamics Navision. As we know that fixed assets operations include acquisition of FA, depreciation of FA, and disposal of FA. So in this first part of my video, I will explain the following things like we will first of all we will first learn how to create the FA card in Navision. Second we will learn how to set up in the Navision to post the acquisition cost. Third we will learn purchasing of FA using purchase invoice and then fourth we will learn the GL impact that the system post in the GL while posting the acquisition cost. So guys, let's start. I have already opened up the Navision. This is my role center and it's a department page. So I will click on fix assets. Then this will open up the fix asset list in Navision. These are the already FAs which are available in the system right now. So what I will do is I will create new FA in Navision. I will click on new and let me write the name of my FA which is a laptop. Uh, I will select the class code of it which is tangible in nature then I will select that's a machinery select ok I will select the location part here guys in the first tab which is a general tab I have entered the following things like I have entered the name of the FA card selected the class code subclass code and the location part now in the second tab which is a depreciation book I'll select here show more fields as you can see the depreciation book code is company because uh, the only the company book uh, is available at the moment we, we can create the new depreciation book also but we will select company here now the second thing posting group this is the main thing because here in the posting group we have we will set up the GL accounts where which are used to post the acquisition depreciation and disposal activities so like because it is already created I will select to show you the name of the jails which are used for the acquisition part so guys as you can see this is the acquisition cost account which is 1220 so right uh, in this when we post the acquisition for this FA then this account I repeat this account will be debited and the balancing account used for the acquisition cost will be selected by the system from this field acquisition cost balancing account okay if we will post the acquisition through the purchase invoice then the balancing account will be the vendor account which is we which is this which the system picks from the vendor posting group and then this will not use but if we post the acquisition cost through FAGL general then this balancing accounts comes into the picture but because we will post the acquisition through the purchase invoice so the system does not pick the balancing account from here the system use 
only this account which is acquisition cost account and system debited this account and credited the vendor account so this is the thing here now the another important aspect of this FA card is that we have to enter the starting date and the ending date of the depreciation because every FA has its own has its own life cycle so we will enter the life cycle of this FA here by selecting the dates let me select this that the deposition starting date will be 1-1-2018 and the depreciation ending date would be let's say 30th of April 2018 So guys, in this manner, I have defined the life of this FA in my system. Now, as you can see, currently the book value is zero here. That means no acquisition cost is available for this FA. So what we will do is now we will create the purchase invoice in the system. I will open up the purchase invoice let me let me create the purchase invoice now I have created I have entered the vendor details here and after entering the vendor details let me enter here like type I will select fix asset and in number I will enter the laptop enter the quantity here enter the price here guys uh, let me enter here 10,000 so after entering the all these information I just simply post this purchase invoice okay I have not entered the vendor invoice number so let me enter the vendor invoice number here and let me post Now the system posted the purchase invoice. Now we will go back to my FA card. This was my FA card. I'll just click on edit and let's see the difference here. Now the book value which was initially zero when I created the FA. Now after posting the purchase invoice after posting the purchase invoice book value is now shown here is as 10,000 for more information I will go to navigate and click on ledger entries this will open up the FA ledger entry part and as you can see now on 1st of January 2018 the acquisition entry has been posted for amount 10,000 
now i will show here the gl impact click on navigate as you can see here it is gl entry now when we pose the pose the acquisition when we pose sorry when we pose the purchase invoice system makes three gl entries now let me sort it do the with the very first entry which the system post here is in account 1220 guys as i have mentioned here earlier in the posting where from where this account system picks so this account system actually picks from here i'll select posting group machinery and see acquisition cost account is 1220 so basically the system picks the acquis account gl account for the acquisition entry from here and this was the very first entry which system makes the second entry which is of 2500 is because the vat which we paid to the vendor against that purchase invoice so this account actually system picks from the vat posting group vat posting setup i show you 5630 let me open up vat posting setup and see because we i will select on this vendor part and see because we have this v uh, the vat business posting group is domestic and vat product posting group is vat 25 therefore based on these combinations system picks the purchase vat account which is 5630 and in our gl entry also it is 5630 now the third account which is which system used for credit for credit part this is account of the vendor vendor domestic 5410 where the system debited the 12500 credited the 12500 from the vendor's account and debited the following accounts in order to balance the entries now the system picks the 5410 account vendor account from the vendor's posting setup i'll show you vendor posting setups see the vendor posting group for the 10000 vendor is domestic and the payables account is 5410 so actually system picks the a gl account for the purchase invoice from the payables account section field in the vendor posting group so in this manner we have actually learned how to create the fa card in navision how to set up the navision in order to post the acquisition cost then we will then we purchases the fa using the purchase invoice then i'll explain then i explained the gl impact which system makes after posting the purchase invoice so in this part we have learned how to post the acquisition cost in the upcoming parts i will explain the depreciation part of fa and disposal part of ffa so guys if you like this video please subscribe to my channel go digit and Thank you so much for watching this video.